This video explains how to connect GNS3 topologies to the internet when using local GNS3 server. Let's start the pro pro practical. So go and click on the terminal. Uh, write GNS3. So go and click on the local server. Next, finish. Then the image of the router is present. You can give your roll number or any random number. Let's give 13. So next, in these slots you can fill with these data means they are not relevant to the practical but yeah, finish. So this 13, apply and okay. Let's give the name of the project as uh, ABC. So click on the okay. Now let's select the virtual PC then the Ethernet switch then the selected router which is 13513 then the cloud so let's before connecting them let's adjust them before so now let's go and connect with the Ethernet cables so before connecting the cloud with the Ethernet cable you need to first configure the cloud click by clicking on add and then apply and then ok now connect this now start the devices click on the virtual PC console PC1 let's give the IP address as IP 192.168.1.2 and the default gateway as 1.1 and the subnet ID as 24 so it is checking for the duplicate addresses so there are no duplicate addresses now it's time for configuration of the router so then go and click on the router and then enable it then configure with the terminal so intf0 slash 0 is the interface which connects the PCs and the uh, router so IP add 192.168.1.1 is the default gateway and the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 so no shutdown so you can see here that the it, it interface f0 slash 0 is up now let's get out of the configure mode now with this command which is show IP int brief it shows the current status of your project means it shows that it is manually up so configure int f0 slash 1 is the interface between the cloud and the router so now IP at DHCP is the command we are writing this command to acquire an IP address on an Ethernet interface from the dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP. So, no shutdown. Here, here we have to wait for a few seconds because the DHCP address is getting generated. So, you need to keep some patience before that. So, let's wait okay the DHCP address is generated and it is 192.168.42.184 so let's move on exit exit now again we are configuring for the third time because this is the end of our practical this process is the end of our practical IP domain lookup Well, IP domain lookup is used to enable the DNS lookup feature. Exit and exit. So here now we will be writing the final code of our presentation. So it is ping www.google.com. And here we have to wait for some time okay it shows that sending five bytes and it shows that success rate is hundred percent